the President's direction, we stood up the greatest national mobilization since World War II. And I want the American people to know that that continues uh, to this moment. Uh, and uh, General David Sanford, who's been with us every step of the way, is going to uh, brief you on uh, the status of our supply chain and uh, uh, the reserves that we have and our ongoing efforts to make sure that our, our hospitals and healthcare facilities have the resources and the support uh, to meet this moment. General? Mr. Vice President, thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. Burks, thank you, ma'am. So we are in a much better place and continue to improve upon that capability. You'll see from the slides behind me that we have uh, continued to grow our national stockpile, but also our FEMA stocks uh, to meet the requirements uh, laid out by our states and by our populations. Uh, we continue to expand upon these to bridge the, the vaccine delivery uh, to continue to protect uh, our American population. Since the late summer, we have grown our personal protective equipment capabilities 10 to 15 times over what they were pre-COVID and, and continue to grow capability to meet the surge requirements that we may expect uh, from the current caseload. As you can see behind me uh, around the uh, third column or fourth column, we have four months of surge capability based on per current case diagnosis uh, just for N95 masks. And we continue to grow that capability, more masks being added uh, every month. The strategic national stockpile and our FEMA uh, stocks are ready to be the backstop when our states require assistance. And that's all built upon a foundation of a strong domestic medical industrial base. Something where we've been able to expand upon or build, in some cases almost from scratch, using our Defense Production Act and other CARES Act authorities uh, to provide the capabilities for our American people, not just now, but into the future and for future uh, crisis or, or medical events going down. You can go to the next slide, please. This is not done alone. We continue to work with our states on a recurring basis. Uh, our FEMA administrator is constantly engaged with the governors uh, or their staffs. We reach out to both our regional administrators, to the state uh, medical or health department officials, and both to the emergency management officials in the state uh, to find out what their needs are to help overcome their challenges and to grow the state's stockpiles. As that relates to our uh, federal uh, emergency management mandate of, of local execution, state management, federal support. As you saw in the previous slide, and as you'll see on, on this color-coded map, um, our, between our states and the federal government, we stand in a much better position than we were uh, just a month ago, and certainly more than, than four or five months ago, uh, to meet uh, the surging PPE demands of our, of our nation. And this is not something that we're, we're sitting and, and, and continuing just to watch. It is something that we're continuing to grow upon and continuously analyze so that we can stay ahead of the increases and make sure that we're either procuring and we have a PPE on the, on the uh, way uh, to meet the surge in cases. I'll turn it over to Dr. Fauci and General Perman. 